I think a, a decent percentage of the mental health problems that we see in in in, in the world uh, could be could be prevented. Okay. And in the existing mental health problems that, that can be can be managed, and we know this because the growing, very exciting, rapidly advancing science of nutritional and metabolic psychiatry, these brand new subspecialties of psychiatry are demonstrating this in clinical trials. And we know that we can, in some cases, put completely into remission, even very serious, long-standing mental illnesses, uh, mental illnesses that you know, have you know, uh, not responded to uh, you know, every medication under the sun, multiple hospitalizations, many years of psychotherapy, we have seen in some cases even very serious mental illnesses go into complete remission simply by changing diet in a matter of uh, uh, weeks to months. No, I believe it. I mean, that's my story, so I won't get into that too much, but I, I'm, I'm a firm believer because I was on the antidepressants max dose. Then I got on the antipsychotics and it didn't do enough until I changed my diet fully. So I'm totally right there with you. Um, in terms of Alzheimer's and dementia, you know, a lot of people say I'm scared because it runs in my family. There's a genetics with it. There's a gene that I tested for and I'm, you know, the APOE four, and, you know, there's all this stuff about I'm scared because it's in my family line. Can the lifestyle that not happen to you? Absolutely. Uh, our, your DNA in most cases is not your destiny. Your DNA influences what you are vulnerable to, like what runs in your family, what might go wrong if your lifestyle is out of sorts. But it, in most cases, it is not it, it is not writing the, the final chapters of your life. It's not in charge. It's not in the driver's seat. What's in the driver's seat in, in most cases is not your DNA. It's, it's, your, it's your diet and lifestyle. So it is the it is the toxins you expose yourself to. It is you know how much sunlight are you getting? How much exercise are you getting? How much sleep are you getting? How much alcohol you're drinking? How much how much junk food are you eating? Um, and you know these are aspects of our everyday life that have powerful influence over our intellectual future. And we we've known now for for almost twenty years that uh, Alzheimer's disease, for example, is uh, not just associated with not just correlated with, not, and it's not just a coincidence that 80% of people with Alzheimer's disease have insulin resistance. Mm. We know from you know multiple lines of high quality evidence, all kinds of different types of scientific evidence accumulated over decades, that insulin resistance is a key driving force, a causal factor, a powerful causal factor in Alzheimer's disease because insulin resistance slowly chokes off the brain's energy supply. And, and when the brain doesn't have enough energy, cells begin to die. And Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. That simply means nerve cells are dying. Why? Why are they dying? Well, there are many different causes. Diet is not the only cause. Diet is not the only cause of Alzheimer's. Diet is not the only cause of all mental health problems. And that's why I say, you know, I think we could prevent a good a good deal of what we see in mental health, but certainly not all, um, simply by changing diet. Uh, but uh, but Alzheimer's disease is driven to a large extent by insulin resistance. And uh, the good news of so that that's horrifying. But the good news is that you can you have tremendous control over your insulin levels. You can turn your insulin levels down to a healthy range within a matter of days if you have the right information about diet. And that is going to be the most powerful lever that you can pull, not just in terms of re dramatically reducing your risk for dementia, but dramatically reducing your risk for all kinds of other physical and mental health diseases, uh, especially the, the common so-called you know, uh, lifestyle diseases or the sort of uh, diseases of, of, of uh, civilization that are now running rampant throughout society, 